it in my phone too. Yeah. On the back. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Bangkok. Welcome to Bangkok, Thailand. I have just gotten home from a full day of shooting. I arrived yesterday and I went straight to fitting and then I saw my friends so I didn't really get time to talk to you guys but here I am at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. on a Thursday night about to eat Burger King because I've missed Burger King Thailand. It is so good here. I got a chicken burger. All my nails are gone except for one, so I could not get it out. So here's my burger. And then I got a Milo Sunday. I'm so excited for this one because it's like a Milo dinosaur but in ice cream form. Also went to Tops, which is a supermarket here. Since I got Burger King, I figured I should probably also get some fruits. You guys, I am reunited. I'm gonna open this baby right now because <laughs> I always lose it or I run out of it whenever I'm overseas. So I'm gonna get a few more. This is local to Thailand. You can only really get it in Thailand unless you can get it somewhere else imported. But it is everywhere here in Thailand. It's the best. It's what the locals here use. It's basically like Tiger Bomb in an inhaler form. That's what it is. Uh, but it's different to Tiger Bomb because Tiger Bomb has its own version. But this is Hong Tai. The one that I normally get is the green version and that's like a little bit sweet. So I decided to try something new. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it. It's like my mum. So in Cambodia, I don't know how to explain this, but in Cambodia, like Cambodians do this thing. We do this thing. It's kind of like cupping in China, but what we do is we get a coin and we get like oil and it's usually like tiger balm style oil. And then we use it and then we like when you're sick or anything, you basically gok shal, which is translating to getting rid of the air so that you know you feel breathe like you breathe better and you feel fresh i love the smell like it always made me feel better anyways i'm going on a tangent but th this is what it reminds me of i feel like i haven't talked to the camera in a little while so i thought i'd do like a little quick vlog because it would be fun in one of my favorite cities ever i think everyone knows that by now <laughs> In the city of smiles. I'm here for a job with Singha. It's funny because last time I did the job with Singha was in um, Muay Ne in Vietnam. So we went to Ho Chi, we went, the crew and I went to Ho Chi Minh, then we went down to Muay Ne and we shot in the sand dunes. So I'll, I'll like put a video. I've loved that experience as well. I don't know if that's gonna be already up by the time this is up, but we'll see. So now they bring, they are bringing me over for a slightly different shoot with the lemon soda. So they're coming out with a new flavor for lemon soda. <laughs> Luckily, I say luckily because the schedule hasn't aligned. I was supposed to shoot tomorrow as well, but luckily the schedule didn't align, so I get to have a sleep in. And tomorrow is like my only day off by myself, really, to catch up and explore Bangkok and do things. So, first things first on my agenda is I'm gonna try to book an appointment with my eye doctor. Fingers crossed. This is my burger. It looks a bit sad actually. It's good, but I recommend the McSpicy Burger. Also, I'm just being fat because they fed me on the shoot, but I'm just still really hungry. Today, my call time today was 6 a.m. And now it is... Well, actually, we finished at 8. We went very over time. So... This is so good. The Milo really adds. So how long was that? The math ain't mathing. 7 plus 8. 15 hours! <gasps> 15 hours today was today's job, but it was fun. The crew was fun, so I had a lot of fun regardless, and I'm glad that I get to have a day off tomorrow and sleep in and just do all this stuff. I'm just so happy to be working with fun people. Mm. So yeah, always, always good to be back in Bangkok. It feels like home whenever I'm here. Oh my god, you guys. I just had to turn the camera on because I was going through my bag and I totally forgot that one of the stylists gave me this as a gift. 
she came up to me and then she gave me this little pouch and she's like, I have a gift for you. It's an elephant. <sighs> Wait, I don't know if it's... It was so sweet of her. Everyone was so sweet even though the shoot went for so long. But everyone was really, really doing their best. Oh, it's so sweet. Yeah, it's Good morning, you guys. It is 12.37 a.m. p.m. I tried to make a phone call to my hospital and try to um, make an appointment with my doctor because she actually is not working tomorrow. So I couldn't make an appointment for today online. It was too short notice. So I had to call. But when I called, it said the hospital well, it says on Google that the hospital is closed and for some reason I just can't get in contact on call. I'm desperate, so I'm gonna go to the hospital and just try to weasel my way into seeing my doctor because I haven't seen her in like two months. Oh no, three months. Yeah, and my medication is like out for my dry eyes, so I need to go. That's my adventure for today. I just got home because I was at the eye appointment but the eye appointment took so long um, because the hospital was closed and so people were like confused as to why I was there in the first place and I was confused because I was like why is there nobody here but my doctor says that she's on today. Anyways I managed to get an appointment not for today but for tomorrow so I went all the way there to go get an appointment just to come all the way home. And then I wasn't, because I'm so late, I wasn't really able to meet my friends for what Arun. So I'm meeting them in a little bit for dinner because they're already there. Now I have like frantically uh, do some stuff and yeah, now I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> So I decided to order some food and I thought, let me just go on grab and order some food and I was super hungry. Okay, look at these omelettes. You can get a regular omelette for like 20, 20 baht, which is like less than a dollar, it's crazy. I want a tom yum soup, but I can't because my stomach is not good. Okay, I'm gonna do minced pork on rice. So cheap, 65 baht, literally costs nothing. It's amazing. Oh my god, they have the clear soup. I made this the other day and I am obsessed with this stuff. But usually when I order omelette, I always get the clear soup. It's like a seaweed tofu soup. Order! What the? This is really, really cheap when you order on the side of the road. It's like 40 baht. I just realized how funny I look. I just got back from the eye appointment. It took so long to get there because of traffic. Bangkok traffic is no joke. And then it took me a while getting there, like getting to see my doctor. And then I had treatments and then they put like eye drop into my eye and it bled onto my lids. I hope it doesn't stain. I have my shoe tour and if I rock up looking like this, they're gonna be like, 
but I don't think it stains. I think I can wash it off. Today is effectively my second last day here. I'm so tired. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it a karaoke with my friends tonight. But I'm going to try to at least see them before I go. But I have a slightly early call time tomorrow as well. So I think I should pack and rest because tomorrow is going to be a jam-packed day. And then my flight is super early on the last day. So yeah, I'm resting and I should really get this off. <laughs> And I'm further away from the restaurant than I originally was when I was at the PT. I was telling my friends about it and I said that I'll just meet them after dinner because it's a bit late. But they said no, just come anyways. Oh my god. They were literally texting me. They were just like, oh my god, we're so we're so proud of you. You're so local, you're more local than us. Taking a boat and everything. And then I got off the boat and I was like, I'm guys, I took the wrong boat. I was responding to work emails and I was just like didn't even occur to me that I literally was in the wrong, in the wrong area. grab Neil. I think it's perfect timing. And this is my whole outfit by the way. Just my yeah, I'm gonna go down now. See you guys later. I just got home. It is 11 o'clock. Oh my gosh. My dinner went for quite a while so I got home quite late and now my friends are coming over. So I'm gonna try my best to pack. Okay, alright. Okay, that's it. Bye.